All right, guys, we've got a, a fun week uh, in store for you. Um, we are going to be doing some uh, competition prep uh, prep work for some of you guys that are doing the St. Patrick's Day throwdown with us. Um, so we're going to be testing some of those in uh, in class. So Monday, uh, we have Maverick and Iceman. They're both 90-second uh, workouts. Um, so they're pretty fast. They're going to be done with a partner. Um, and this is a porn, uh, points-based um, uh, scoring method. So you get uh, you get two points for deadlifting weight, four points for cleaning it, and ten points for snatching it. Um, you can go in any order. You can choose to do all the movements or one of the movements or two of the movements. I don't care. You're just trying to get that barbell off the ground into that finishing position as fast as possible um, by sharing the clock with uh, with you and your partner. So only one person is working at a time. You guys will rest uh, a minute and a half for a transition. If you guys need to put your masks wraps on or whatever you need to do, um, do that. And then we're going to move into Iceman, which is another 90-second workout. Um, Points-based scoring. Two points for a pull-up, kipping, dead hang, all that fun stuff. Uh, four points for a chest-to-bar pull-up, so just making sure that uh, contact to the barbell happens below. Um, below the collarbone. Uh, and then 10 points for a bar muscle-up. So if you got a bar muscle-up this weekend, uh, you can use it, get 10 points, um, and uh, and rack up the points that way. Now, there's a lot of strategy that's involved in this workout. Um, so, guess what? We're going to rest six minutes, and we're going to do it twice. You're welcome. Um, all right, moving on to, uh, to Tuesday. Uh, we have front squats, so just basic strength. We're doing increasing sets of 10. That's what the dashes mean, 10 dash, 10 dash, 10. Uh, means that you're going to make uh, incremental jumps up in weight each time. Uh, we'll finish class with a 12-minute AMRAP of burpees, thrusters, so a front squat to a push press, and then box jumps. Um, generally, in the opens, <clears throat> they allow you to do step-ups instead of box jumps, uh, but I would really prefer that you guys uh, either scale the height of the box um, or put a plate down and so you can get used to jumping onto a box um, and actually use this as a plyometric practice. Um, so take that into consideration when you're doing this workout. Wednesday, shared partner rowing. Uh, this is also going to be in the uh, the St. Paddy's Day comp. Uh, the workout's 1,500 meters, so if you're doing the comp, um, do 1,500 instead of the two, uh, 2,000. Um, breaking up with your partner in different, uh, different ways. Maybe you guys do 20 strokes each, or maybe you do 250 meters each. Um, whatever it works for you, um, just go as fast as possible. Uh, what we can do in class is work on transitioning in and out of the rower. Uh, every time you switch, generally takes between 10 and 15 seconds. But if you can get that switch down to 5 and 8 seconds, um, you're going to save a lot of valuable time um, at the end of that workout. Uh, then we're going to do three rounds for time. Uh, wall balls, kettlebell swings. <clears throat> Wall balls, kettlebell swings, or sorry, yeah, wall balls, kettlebell swings, and push-ups. Um, looking to break these up uh, earlier than you need to, um, so that you're not spending so much time staring at the uh, staring at the wall, um, hoping that that uh, wall ball target's a little bit shorter, um, or if that kettlebell is a little bit too heavy for you, or if the push-ups um, are too much volume, just put an ab mat down and work on doing uh, maybe two sets of five. Um, for the push-up so that you can still get some of the upper body development in. Um, St. Paddy's Day, the 17th, we're going to be working on cleans, power cleans, or squat cleans. is up to you. Uh, increasing sets of two, uh, followed by a quick little am wrap of uh, double unders and toes to bar. Now, we already saw these movements um, in the uh, in the open, so um, based off of what you learned there, what your weaknesses are, scale the toes to bar uh, accordingly and just work on those uh those gymnastic skills. If you don't have double unders yet, set a number and crush it each time because it's a three minute workout. Um, just like it has been for the last couple of weeks, Thursday and uh, and Friday are gonna be, or sorry, Friday and Saturday are gonna be um, subject to change um, based off of what Dave Castro gives us for 16.4. Um, I have no idea what it's gonna be. Zero predictions anymore. Maybe uh, handstand pushups and wall balls gross. Um, one thing that we will announce later on is that uh, after the workouts on Saturday, uh, we're going to be doing a uh, an annual workout that we do with uh, running wall balls and uh, burpees and drinking. Um, so if you have time, hang out after class. We'll do a quick little workout, party a little bit, um, and enjoy the beautiful weekend, the beautiful weather. All right. See you guys.